everyone, welcome back to Play Crastination, population 384, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Scramble to Egglock. In the last episode, guys, we made it to Cinnabar Island, and like, freaking speed ran the whole thing. Uh, got done with Cinnabar Island, got done with the mansion, hatched a bunch of boys from fossils and eggs, and uh, we took on Blaine the Seventh Gym Leader and won. Um, I thought the law and the law won, if you know what I'm saying. And now we've been transported to the islands, which is not a super fun side quest storyline, in my opinion. It's something they added in this game to separate it from regular red and blue. Um, but it's something we got to do nonetheless. On the bright side, I'm Mr. Brightside, as they say. I'm just finding a whole bunch of old song references. Uh, on the bright side, we are going to get to do uh, get a bunch of encounters starting with I believe this area is just called one island and I believe we can fish here. So let's go ahead and get our first encounter, which will just be uh, super rotting here on one island. Oh, we also found a master ball in the last episode. So that's always pretty exciting. Our super rod Pokemon is going to be a level 22 shelter. I'm going to try to not murder you. I'm trying my hardest to not murder you. You're defensive. It's too much. Scizor's a strong boy. One island encounter has been lost. Not smart, but we're going to head over to Kindle Road and see if we can grab something on Kindle Road. I probably should have just surfed instead. Probably would have been a smarter option. It's okay, though. On Kindle Road, we find a really low level five. I almost don't even want this encounter. <laughs> an encounter is an encounter. We must accept them all equally. And so even though you are a level five tentacool, I must take you. Level five wimpy tentacle. Would love to sneak past these guys if possible. Oh, what do you know? Level 34 wild Pokemon if we would have just done in the grass instead of on the water. It's okay. We learned the hard way here at Playcrastination. Now, I think I'm just going to sneak past you, my friend. Now, I think if we keep heading northernly in a northernly direction, um, I believe we can hit up another Ew, I don't want to fight you. I don't think I have rock smash. I might have to fight these trainers. Oh, no. We don't have to fight these trainers, which is good. I may also be able to dodge these boys. That was the worst dodge I've ever seen in my entire life. And now we have to fight a level 37 Kangaskhan. It's okay. I'm a Staples. That was easy. Uh, so one thing that needs to be said about this area is that... No, don't endure. You're making my life difficult. Um, the difficulty definitely ramps up in the islands, like the, you get another level jump, like I was talking about in the last episode. Iron defense, not really what I'm looking for. Blastoise, also not really what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and go for Shiitake. Let's go for that sludge bomb, maybe snag a poison on this thing. This thing is very defensive and, uh, kind of freaks me out. Let's go for a sky uppercut. It's stab. If the poison, if the sludge bomb almost got that close, this should take you out. It does not quite, but you've been paralyzed by my effect spore, and now you've been mock punched and defeated, but not before I have to fight another trainer. Starting with a Togetic. I'm gonna go into AoE. This boy's going for wishes. I'm gonna start stacking some ice balls. If you get like a uh, if you get like a metronome solar beam or something, I'll be in trouble. But in the current state, I, I don't, I'm not that frightened. Uh, that was a critical hit on a, an ice ball, which was beautiful. Another double edge. The recoil will actually take you out. So I am okay with that. Goodbye, Togetic. Your next Pokemon is going to be a Murkrow, who is honestly fine to take an ice ball. I think we should outspeed. If not, it'll be a little scary. We did not outspeed. This will be a little scary. Nah, it's not scary at all. AoE though, why you gotta miss the attack? Oh, but he has Pursuit, so we cannot switch out. Okay, so I gotta stay in, is what this means. I gotta stay in and do some healing. And you're going for the Nightshades, unfortunately. Not not great for us. Uh, let's go for some Stomps. This thing is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, we'll live a Nightshade. One more Stomp will get the job done. We live a Pursuit. Look at that, easy. Were you nervous? Like I said, difficulty, little bit increased. We're gonna be going through potions a little bit more quickly, but we got money saved up, so it's not a huge deal. What is this? What is this? Light a fire in your heart at the Ember Spa. I think this heals us, so I actually, can I get an encounter in here? I don't know what this does, but I don't wanna explore because I'm nervous, so we will not explore. Instead, we will continue in a northerly direction, and I think we'll hit another area pretty shortly, but not before we fight a little swimming boy who's just out here with a septile. Let's go for some cut. 
Yes, this thing can't do anything to me, and uh, I don't want to waste my last. Uh, I don't want to waste my last good move on it. I want to waste my last silver wind. It could come in handy eventually. What do we have up here? Mm hmm. A mountainous region, which appears to be Mount Ember. Hello. Can you imagine if this volcano was to erupt? The explosion would be the end of us. How terrifying is that? No, I do not want to learn explosion, but I appreciate it. Team Rocket's doing some bad stuff over here, but we don't really care about that right now. No, nobody knows strength. How does nobody know strength? I want an encounter here. Eh, I don't take credits. Who wants to learn strength? Uh, let's give it to AoE because AoE already knows stomp and strength is just a stronger stomp. So we'll just get rid of stomp and bam, strength is here. Now I was gonna get rid of stomp for uh, earthquake, so we'll have to make a decision when that comes. Maybe ice ball will be gone, I don't know. And I've accidentally gotten to a battle here, which I did not want to get into. Go for the pursuits. That was so little damage, it's not even funny. Go for the steel wing instead. That's what I'm talking about, look at that. Charizard coming in next, little frightening. We do not have a rock type move on the team, but we do have AoE. And uh, AoE is always a good option. Flamethrower coming in. We already know that fire types do nothing against AoE. And meanwhile, we're confusing this thing left and right. I am going to drink my Diet Dr. Pepper. He just broke the confusion. He just broke the dang confusion. Look at that. It's okay though, the Charizard has perished. And a Kingler as your final Pokemon. Uh, let's go to Spork. And Spork can hit you with a little Thunder Punch. We only have five left, so we're getting a little bit low on um, power points on some of our most important moves, so that's important to, to take note of. Let's grab our Mount Ember encounter. It's going to be a level 32 speed. I'm only 10 levels? I'm not even 10, I'm nine. All right, so we lost our Mount Ember encounter. This entire island, all I managed to muster was a level five encounter. A level five tentacle. Is there anything else on this island? I want to say this island leads us eventually to Moltres, but I can't remember. Leads us to a Pokeball. It's an elixir. So we can be happy about that, I guess, but like still generally pretty upset about what's happening. All right. I'm going to continue down the path, though, because uh, you never know what could happen. Petri, you haven't had any screen time in a little bit. Let's let's get you in here. I forgot you knew Earthquake. Why is Dragon Claw so weak against this thing? Why is Dragon Claw so... Why though? Why you gotta start using the full restores? I told you they're getting annoying at this point in the game. Um, We really need to teach you a rock type move if we can ever manage that. We can't though. Pidgeot has fallen and Ludicolo is next. You know what? I'm gonna take out this Ludicolo with a little fly action. Take on, take this on, you little duck build hat wearing gloved that pineapple? I don't know. I don't really know what I want to say. Ranger Logan has been defeated. Oh, we have a cave. Still just Mount Ember technically though, so not that exciting. Although we can go deeper into Mount Ember. That's kind of exciting. I'm just in the business of exploring right now. By the way, if we ever need Rock Smash, then we're uh, kind of screwed because I don't have Rock Smash, so hopefully we don't need it to progress any further in this cave. I'm seeing a lot of rocks. I'm also seeing just like a million battles, so if we could calm those down maybe, like thank goodness for speed up button because uh, otherwise we'd be doing this for years. Okay, more Mount Ember. Where is this leading me? I've not done the islands and I haven't played through Fire and Leaf Green in such a long time, but I thought Moltres was up here. Moltres, top of Mount Ember. It's a strength puzzle. Okay, I can solve these. I've solved this. I've solved the strength puzzle in my day. And it is Moltres, and we have a Master Ball. So I'm. I just now realized I'm leading with uh, a boy who is not great for leading with. So I'm just gonna throw the Master Ball. We were given it in the last episode. Clearly, it's for a reason. It's to catch this Moltres right here and never have to worry about it again. Another level 50 Pokemon that we're gonna get to add to the team. So even though I missed two encounters on one island, I would say not all for naught. One of the legendary bird Pokemon, though seeing it, are overwhelmed by its orange wings that seem to be on fire. Seem to be or are? Do they, do they seem to be or they are? Please tell me, Petri, you can fly me. Please tell me, Escape Rope, you can escape me from this area. He's done it. I can't escape. 
now I can fly from here? Oh, sorry, uh, you were actually too high. Really though, you were too high to fly. What does that mean? Okay, anyway, here we are in the large Pokemon Center. The usual PC services aren't available? All right, no encounters then. I guess we gotta go to Two Island first. So we won't be able to do any hatches yet, unfortunately. Yep, I'm stuck on the islands. I also can't go back to Kanto, so that's just great. Let's do whatever we had to do here on Two Island because, can I, this water might be too fast. This, this looks like pretty rapid paced water. Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, the rippling currents are too much for me. Can I use this PC? Can I use this PC? Dude, get some dang electricity out here. Okay, so I was told to head to the game corner, which I hope is not behind this tree. It is not, but it is a shoal shoal, shoal, shoal what does it say, shoal shoal? Um, is there an encounter to be had here? Cape Brink? Oh, you know there's a Cape Brink encounter. Let's go ahead and grab this encounter. We'll just get all the encounters now. It's an Oddish, or an Oddish? Let's go for Pursuit because it's special and we know that that's weaker than Cut. Yep, very weak. So this will be, no, please with the moonlight. Please with the moonlight. Don't do that. Ultra Ball, catch the Oddish. Look at that, there's an encounter. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we can teach Pokemon like Blast Burn and Frenzy Plant up here, but I don't really want to. I'd rather just head into the game corner. Hello, man. Now, where's Lostel gotten today? She always brings me lunch every day right about now. Her name is Lostel, I wonder where she is. Hmm, you there, are you a friend of Lostel's? If you see Lostel around, I don't know where she might be. She should have been here long ago. Lostel's a cutie, she's got my look, so what if someone, what if something's happened to my Lostel? You should probably keep a better eye on your children. Please help me find her, please go search three islands. Oh my gosh, it's just never ending. Ha, what is this game corner? So much, how much sad can this get? These clowns, they said they'd be waiting on the island, so where are they? Hey you, is this the only three island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of bed, you punk. This is two island. Move it, get your filthy motorbike out of my place. Huh? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> These islands are confusing. <laughs> Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor. And I'm now no longer concerned about the fact that my daughter is missing. I got a cleaning stuff, Mr. Magic Clean Rub Eraser. Oh my gosh, dads these days, am I right? Okay, so now we're going to Three Island. Here's the fun island, it's just back and forth all day, all night. Let me guess, no electricity here? Oh, we got some bikers though. Hello ma'am, are you okay? Aye, who, who are you, I'll call the police. Okay, she seems a little upset, what do we got here? Three Isle Path, a potential encounter, maybe. Hey there, how's it going? What am I doing here? Yes, well, I'm prospecting for gold, prospecting for gold. When I strike it rich, I'm buying a house in Kanto. Cool, I hope you enjoy that. Three Isle Port. Three Isle Port is an encounter. Dude, these, the encounters are gonna be a little nuts today. So I just hope you're ready for this. Just trying to, just trying to grab one, if we could. Like here I am, I'm in the grass. I am running very rapidly through your grass. This, this is false grass. Somebody planted crabgrass? Nope, it is actually encounter grass, which is good. A Dunsparce. <laughs> uh, let's just try an Ultra Ball because it's level 20 and I don't want to risk it. Dunsparce, I got bad memories from you. I really don't need you doing this right now. I really don't need you doing this right now, man. Thank you. You're giving me a tough time. Thank you, Dunsparce. We've gotten a 3 owl port encounter. Can we get a 3 owl path encounter? I feel like that dude wouldn't be chilling in here if there were wild Pokemon. You know, a safety concern. Uh, and I think he's right. There is nobody in Three Isle, Three Isle Path. But here we are on Three Island. And what do we have here? Just an empty house. Oh, but a stone. You left this open. Rare rocks and gems are displayed. Hmm. I was told about some rare rocks and gems. Oh, no. It's a biker game. Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now. Ha. Huh. I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold. You don't make me fight all of these guys. Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused on the island? Nah, man, I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for living up this sleep. Sleepy village. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us leave. Girl, you coward. You sound so tough in a pack. Oh, I didn't want to fight yet. Yo, what do you... <sighs> okay. Oh, gosh. Let's go for the silver wind. Oh! No, no, no. Landed it. Please take this Gardevoir out. Whew, 
Okay, we're good. We are good. Staples Ghost level 42. A Starmie coming in next. Not a concern of mine. Although the lack of Thunder Punches is getting a little concerning. I'm starting to get a little freaked out about the... No, you don't understand. I really need to heal my first boy. I really need to heal my firstborn boy. If I could right now. With like a lot of super potions. You seem like a decent Pokemon to, to do that against. So now we'll use the full heal. And uh, now we'll just go for the Steel Wings on you. Boom! Freaking get on. So we're gonna have to fight a million bikers. That's just par for the course. Oh my gosh, I'm sleeping. Oh, I'm sleeping. And I'm confused, but we get the Steel Wing off anyway because Staples is the strongest. I hope you guys like the Staples show because uh, Staples is getting some serious experience. Why with the sleep? Why with all of the, the sleep and confusion? Why you gotta do this to me? Freaking get Wing Attack, son. Goodbye. Blossom? No, get Wing Attack, son. I uh, hope you guys like the. The Staples show, because Staples is running amok. Wake up, please. Please be healed. We're going to need to buy some more potions pretty shortly, I would say. Yeah, we're going to need some more. Hello, guys. What happened? Thank you. Those goons were nothing but bad trouble. Oh, look, your Pokemon got hurt. No! Oh, he gave me a full restore. I was like, please don't heal me. I I'm going to have to sacrifice. Okay. I don't want to talk to anybody because they might heal my Pokemon. I'm a little nervous. Let's buy some stuff, though, because we have money. Uh, let's buy, like... 10 more of these, and uh, maybe like start buying some Hyper Potions. Like 10 just as, did I buy them? I said I want 10 of them. I have no more room for this item? I gotta sell some stuff. What do we not need? Uh, elixirs are fantastic. I don't need a Carbos, that's a lot of money. Do not need a Dire Hit. Do not need a White Flute. Do not need, mm, don't really care about a lava cookie, you can take that back. Stardust, we don't need, there we go, there's some room. Buy like 10 hyper potions to start, and you don't sell super potions, really? That's fun, I like that. Okay, again, scared to talk to anybody. The Bond Bridge. On James Bond Bridge, we can get ourselves another encounter. I told you, the encounters are gonna be flowing today. Another pursuit. Please, with the critical hits, Staples, you know my rule. If you critically hit a Pokemon and cost me an encounter, you will be sacrificed. And I really don't want that to happen to you. I like you a lot. Staples, you're the last person I'd want that to happen to. So just a heads up to like, watch your back. Okay, I feel bad. This level five tentacle is just kind of like chilling with us. And I can't really get rid of it because I can't access the PC. So he's just gonna be along for the ride right now while we, uh, oh my gosh, another Gardevoir, really? Hmm. Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Gardevoir. What are we gonna do with the Gardevoir? I really don't have anything for this. Spork, you're strong. Okay, Spork, you're like really strong. So we'll just go with Spork. What was that coming in? Wiggly tough, don't care. No, not my fire punch. I'll have to hit you with another element now. Get frozen, son. Okay, so we got our encounter in this area. I believe there's another area coming up. Like, right... That was Bond Bridge, I'm assuming. Oh yes, the forest. We're gonna enter the sleepy forest, of course. The berry forest, just kidding. Oh my gosh, this forest is loaded with berries on the ground, which AKA for us means different items, like this. A blue flute. They could literally be anything, and so this like could potentially be a really big, awesome time for us, depending on the items that we find. Like if we could find some master balls, this one is a that one just duped me. We're also gonna get an encounter, of course. So our berry 35 gloom, huh? 35 gloom, get it with that mock punch. That would do no damage. Why you guys gotta be this way? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna switch into staples, go for the cut. And then we're gonna catch you in an Ultra Ball, you level 35 Gloom again. So many encounters by the time we're done with this, a black belt is a great item. Uh, a, a lot of encounters by the time we're actually done with this area. Oh, I should probably also heal Shroomish. Okay, let's calm down also. You're playing, you're playing quick, which is good because you wanna get through the islands today and you would like to be I'd like to be Dragon Fang. I'd like to be fighting the the final gym leader next episode. Uh, but, you know, there's no guarantees in life. And also, there's not even a guarantee I'm gonna live to fight another day. I'm gonna go ahead and surf across this thing and say, Haha, I have subverted your path and I've reached the end of the forest. It's Lostel. 
Whimper sniff, oh please help, a scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept so scaring. It made Lostel scared and I refer to myself in the third person. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. What? Is that a freaking Hypno? Sounds like a Hypno. It is a Hypno. Just because it has a large nose is no reason to be scared. How rude. Uh, let's go to Staples. And uh, let's go for the Steel Wing. Yeah, Staples is freaking stapling stuff today. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Well, Stel came to pick some berries. You can have this. The Ayapapa Berry. What's your name? Well, still scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. Teleport me there. You're the best game. So you rescued Lostel. How can I thank you? Lostel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. Why do you refer to yourself in the th this whole family? Hey, Mr. Behind the Counter, what's your name? Uh, Bill is me. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Gilmore. Okay, so what do I get? Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You know how to make a guy happy. Here's the meteorite, in addition to your child. Mmm, this is from Bill. You can ha you have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. A moonstone. Thank you so much. That's it? So what do I do now? I go back to Bill? I return to Bill and tell him, hey, that was not fun. Thank you for sending me on your freaking fetch quest. I guess, back to One Island. Hey Bill, how's it going? You guys figure this thing out yet? Like, is it running? Can I access the PC? Nope, still dark. Oh, hey Gilmore. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? Hey Josh, can you go buy me some bread from the store? Hey, where you been? Just having fun? Nope, just buying your bread. We got it done, the PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. I'll be seeing you again. <gasps> Gilmore, I'm really sorry that we had to send you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. Take me home. Country road to the place where I belong. West Virginia. Mountain mama, whatever that means. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. You have the tri -pass. You can always take the ferry from Vermilion Port. All right, thanks for your company. Where did he just go? I know there's no path down. Where did you disappear to? He's hiding in the Pokemon Center. Nope, he's not here. Okay, so that took a while, but we are done with the islands. And we got several encounters along the way. So let's be happy about, uh, by several, I mean, Four, five, six, if you count this wimpy tentacle. And the Huna Bubbly and the wimpy tentacle. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab the dice app. So we're gonna get six of these boys. After this, we're only gonna have six left. That's crazy. Um please. No, please. Please dice app. I forgot how to use a phone. My phone, it's just, oh, I was stuck on email. That's why. Oh, I'm getting like a million. I don't, did my phone, like, I think my phone like just, like, you know, like your phone is like disconnected from Wi-Fi and then it like reconnects all of a sudden and you get like a million messages. Okay, column number four, there is only one. That was only one. And this Pokemon is only going to get to be level five because of the lovely tentacle. So once again, let's give the Weedle, the Weedle training, the Weedle uh, treatment, if you will, and see what it's going to be. Ooh, a Porygon. And I think we have upgrades, which may not even need to be a thing in this game. It may just evolve based on, um, it may just evolve based on, um, I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna call you Axe for literally no reason except it just popped into my head. Axe the Porygon, let's see what Axe knows. Um, Axe has a hardy natured Porygon with Trace. Oh, hello, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Psychic. It stinks you're only level five, man. I really wish that you weren't, but uh, sometimes the cookie crumbles in such a way. I think I messed up that, I think I messed up that, alliter what, not an alliteration, idiom, whatever it is. All right, let's save the big boy for last. I'm gonna save the, um, 
the Moltres for last because I'm most excited about it. No, Oddish does not go in the party. Oddish comes back to box number one and we get ourselves another encounter. Number two, we need two, three, or five. Not a four, two, three, or five. Two, three, or five. Did you hear me? Two, three, or five. Two. Two, two. Bam. I think I made a ballerina joke last time we got 2-2 two, two in the other box, so I won't make it this time, except that I just said it, so you know I was thinking it, but I'm not gonna say it aloud. This Pokemon is gonna go, get to go up to level 32 thanks to that lovely Oddish, so hopefully it's something uh, pretty swaggin'. Let's make a prediction. I think it's gonna be a... Apra, number two. Would you look at that? We have a chance for yet another Spork. Uh, this is not gonna be a spork, though. This is his brother, Ladle. Of course. Let's see what this second spork knows. The second coming of spork. Teleport. Modest nature. With teleport, calm mind, and psychic. Hmm. It is technically dupes. Do I want to do the same thing I did with Metal Boy and technically call this dupes? I mean, it'd be nice to have a backup Alakazam, but we've also been rocking for Alakazam for literally the whole playthrough, so I don't think I would ever replace Spork. Like, Spork is Spork. And so, uh, I really appreciate whoever sent in Ladle, uh, but I think we are going to call dupes on this bad boy and uh, get another encounter for it. Plus, it'll help us get through the rest of these eggs. Column number five does not exist. Column number four does not exist. Column number two, it's got to be a three or a five. A three or a five. Three or a five. Oh, the light is so bright. Three or a five. You got this. I believe you. Oh, it's a five. We've done it. Okay, so apologies to the Abra. Ladle, you will be in my heart, but um, again, we've. Uh, if Alakazam was, if Spork was ever to die for whatever reason, I would probably replace it with something else just to, just to you know, get some variety on the team. So I don't know that Ladle would ever see action, but it was hatched nonetheless, and I appreciate the sentiment. Instead, for the level 32 Oddish, we are going to be training up. Oh, Yanma! What? There's no Yan Mega in this game, so it's a little less exciting. It's still, like one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, I'm gonna call this thing, um, I'm gonna call this thing Brisbane. Brisbane. I, I, I'll be, no, I spelled it wrong. I'll be honest, I've never been to Australia. I just know that this town exists. I also don't know if it's pronounced Brisbane or Brisbane. Either way, though, uh, I know Australia is known for its large bugs, so there you go. Level 32 on this uh, lovely Brisbane. Let's see what you know, by the way. Signal Beam, Whirlwind, Psychic, and Giga Drain. I'm gonna get rid of Whirlwind. I'll tell you what, even though you don't know, um, or even though you, I was gonna say, even though you don't know how to evolve, even though you technically don't evolve in this game, which, doesn't really make any sense, but again, they like thought of it after the fact, so that makes sense, but um, since you technically don't evolve in this game, it stinks because Yan Mega is probably, if not, probably my favorite bug type Pokemon in the entire game, if we're just being le legitness. That was legitness. If we're just being 100% honest, probably my favorite bug type in the entire game, and so it stinks that you don't evolve, um, but that's a sweet move set and uh, one that could potentially be good for us. So you know, I would say don't count uh, don't count this Yanma out yet. All right, we still have many more uh, hatches to go, and the time is running short on this episode. So I may have to split them into two episodes. We'll see. We will see. Let's try to grab another one though. Let's get this done sparse. Let's get a little done sparse action. Back to box one. We can do this. We can do this. We got time. We got time. Column number six. One, two, or three. It's a freaking three. We've done it. Man, we are, I mean, it's, we're getting low on eggs, but we're also getting close to the end of the game. So like, they're kind of happening simultaneously and uh, like kind of exactly how I would have wanted it to go. I'd, I'd say we have, the, we had the perfect amount of eggs. And uh, considering I've missed some encounters, like we would probably be out of eggs by now. If I didn't, it's a Torchic! I freaking love Blazer Ken. <sighs> Mm, it's freaking Torchic, it's a female, but I'm still going to name you Popeye, Popeye, because it's my 
Actually, you know what? Instead, I'll nickname you, um... Popeyes. Everybody knows what Popeyes is. I'm gonna nickname you Cyborg instead. Because it's, uh... I don't know if it's a chain or if it's a St. Louis thing, but they have some delicious wings. Yes, I'm naming it that because it's a chicken. It's just... It's comedy. Adamant Natured Torchic with Rock Slide. We've been waiting for Rock Move. Reversal and Smelling Salt. Uh, Cyborg, you are pretty sweet. You are pretty sweet. Um, which is weird because they use a mustard based sauce. Ah, it's a, nobody knows what I'm talking about because nobody knows what Cyborg's is. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get through this nonetheless. You're gonna go to level 20. We are gonna have an evolution to watch on the way. Peck. Nah, you don't need to know Peck. We'll just, we'll just kind of skip through it. Because we, we know what it evolves into. Focus energy, goodbye for double kick. You got four more levels to go. No, I already said no to Peck. Doesn't mean, I'm not gonna have buyer's remorse three seconds later. Cyborg, welcome to level 20. Welcome potentially to the team. I do love this Pokemon a lot. Okay. Um. Okay, so we have three more Pokemon we need to hatch. And I can technically get an encounter uh, to the right of this area. So I think we'll do that next time. Maybe go all the way to the Seafoam Islands. We'll have five more hatches, which might finish out the eggs or be close to it. And then we'll go take on the eighth gym leader. Who could it be? I don't know. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did it. Oh, I hit the microphone. I'm so sorry. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Play Crass that Asian today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Play Crass today, or go ahead and smell by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.